Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Cardano chart, the Bitcoin chart again. Um, we start with Bitcoin briefly, then we go to ADA USD and ADA BTC. What is interesting is that uh, Bitcoin seems to go up further. You know, as I said in my last video, we were just watching a potential breakout of Bitcoin and um, in the end it happened. So let's just go through that and take a look at it. And then we go to Cardano. So with Bitcoin here on the daily, we can see that on the indicators, we are getting close to the um, overbought range. Still, you know, for the last few days, we've been very close to the overbought range. But in my view, that's not necessarily a problem yet. We find some resistance here at the 70 line of the RSI. But as before, you know, we could also get up to the 90 level or 89 at least, pretty much the 90 level on the RSI for a short period. But um, there is still a little bit of potential to the upside in a, in a bull run. We still have a long signal here on the ADX, the trend indicator and on the MACD as well. It is going up here. Let me just make that a bit cl clearer. Um, it's going up on the MACD as well. And as you can see here, we were already much higher on the MACD. So we were already up here around March, February um, or January. And yeah, currently we are about at this level here with the MACD line at around 3000, but we were already at the 4000 level before. So with Bitcoin, if we zoom in again, we can see, still see we are in this ascending channel. Could also be a descending wedge, which is a bearish pattern, the large one here, but I'm not to worry about it. It's not really converging with a descending wedge, uh, with the ascending wedge. I mean, you have these lines converging, this support and resistance line, but I can't really I mean, you can see it, but it's not that clear. We had a little bit of that la um, early in the year as well when we broke to the downside. I think this somewhere here we had an ascending channel as well. Um, here, I mean, um, not an ascending channel, a um, ascending wedge. So here we have one, for example, but there was a, a larger one here as well. And we broke that to the downside. But here at the moment, you can't, you, they, they are not converging as much as up here. So that is a bearish pattern and ascending channel because you know you make still higher highs and higher lows, but the higher highs, the difference, the distance between them gets smaller and smaller, indicating the buyers have more and more difficulty to push the price higher. Essentially, it's a reversal pattern. Um, but here it's not that clear yet. You know, this large one, you don't really have these converging lines just a little bit, but um, it's not clear enough for me. So here on the small scale then, we can see that um, when I made my video yesterday, we were just about to break out. I told you in the video and we go to the one hour chart that this structure here looks typical to these um, breakout phases, a breakout build up, you know, sellers can't push the price away anymore from the resistance line. And in the end, we broke out, came to the um, found resistance at the channel, the resistance level of the main channel. And that is the next one that we try to get through now. So again, we found resistance here before. Now we find it again at 58.4K. So we're just potentially coiling up for another move to the upside. I think we are going to potentially retest this line here as support of the smaller channel. And then we might continue our way to the upside. Yeah, I still think could get there and could make further moves to the upside here um, before we then potentially reverse or just make the all-time high, but there is still scope to the upside here in the short term, definitely. And we are here again on the hourly as well, have a long signal on the ADX and on the MACD as well, a buy signal, even though it's looking like we could potentially reverse here, but it's only on the hourly, not too worried about that. Um, so I think, you know, we have a strong uptrend since yesterday here again, you know, we fell temporarily back into this channel, but yeah, we've broken out again and I think we, we're currently finding support here at the previous high. So that's good. Found clear support here, a long wick. I think then we might not retrace back actually because we found support here already at this low here, uh, at this high at 57.8K. So from here, we could now give it another go to break through the 58.4K. Okay, let's take a look at Cardano. Cardano did something similar in terms of a pattern yesterday. We moved up found resistance here. So that's the hourly chart. Um, maybe we'll start with the daily just briefly. And with Cardano, 
we are now in this, um, you might remember the white triangle here, moving further into the apex. Now, yesterday it looked briefly like we could break above this orange trend line again. Now, if you remember, that's quite an important one. I had hoped we would, because that is the long one, the long ascending one, um, above which we, you know, looked like we were breaking it was a um it was a triangle within which we were trading here before we broke to the downside and yeah now we are below that but um found support here at the lower end of this white support line right this ascending trend line this new one that we put on the chart where we had three touches now found support here at around two dollar and ten and since then we've moved up again yesterday while bitcoin was moving up as well found then however resistance at this orange line now at the moment it doesn't look like we're getting through my view is we're probably going to get sideways here again move into the apex of the white triangle um, going forward so far we can't see a impulsive move to the upside i watched this um, impressive move yesterday here three and a half percent in um in a few minutes i think but it lost it lost steam as it approached the ascending trend line that orange one and you can see that here couldn't get through yeah nice move to the upside here but we couldn't get through so i think now my test again the 213 uh, 214 level here again these previous highs and then move just sideways a little bit at some point we'll get a surprise breakout i'm sure now that could be hours away that could be days away with cardano i don't know because I can't see a clear breakout pattern here forming. I mean, yeah, we have the the triangle, the apex, and as soon as we break that, that will be a huge one, I think. But at the moment, I, you know, we are not close to the apex yet. The, that that will be a, a, probably a few days away or maybe even a week. Um, but we've seen various cryptos suddenly break out. I mean, you can identify the patterns, you can identify these support and resistance lines, and then you need to be ready when you break them. Um, or you do it just like I do, you just hodl and then you're not too worried about any of that. Short term price fluctuations, if we go down lower, we can buy more at lower prices um, if we believe in the project long term. But um, if we go up, we're all happy because our portfolio increases in value. And as you guys know, Cardano hasn't moved a lot in the last few weeks. People might get frustrated, but what we need to see a lot of the cryptos that haven't moved, they finally broke out. You know, we have a lot of examples. I covered a lot of them on this channel and people got frustrated with them. Now they are on the radar because they broke out and Cardano will break out as well at some point. And then Cardano will, like here, very quickly move to new highs very quickly. And it's just that area of patience. I mean, back here, we had a very long period where we didn't do anything and then suddenly you get a breakout as soon as you go above a critical level and here it could be something like let me just make that larger here i think it's that 232 level that will certainly be a very important one from here it doesn't mean that we get to the new all-time high but we'll certainly from here have a good chance to get to 250 then 280 or first of all 265 280 and then we can approach the three dollar ten level and that could all happen very quickly if we get a break to the upside but at the moment we're just caught in this triangle need to observe it we'll comment on it on a daily basis um, comment on latest developments and hopefully we'll all find our way through this um, long period of sideways movement so to finish it off a brief look at the ada btc chart i did mention it before we have this um, range where or not a range but we've got this ascending trend line to which we always come back to and now we've come back to it again when we come back to it after that typically in the last few months since the beginning of the year we've always returned and come back up again currently we're just struggling to find support here i mean we are finding support but we can't really make out a clear move away from that support line yet which would indicate that cardano will um, will outperform bitcoin we come down from this phase where cardano um, was losing out against bitcoin right it was losing value compared to bitcoin um, but that was historically regularly the case as i mentioned in previous videos so whenever that happened we were losing value compared to bitcoin after that we had a period again where it was returning to the upside okay so 
that is a very well defined trend line and we are currently finding support here but we can't make out that move to the upside yet but historically it has happened which is why i think it could be likely that we do that again now yes we could drop once more to this low here the previous low but we didn't do that before so in my view it's 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 probably more likely to find support here and at some point do the turnaround and then move to the upside at which point there would be potentially a buy signal for ADA BTC to buy you know it, it's an alternative certainly to the ADA USD but in my view as soon as ADA BTC goes up here I think the ADA USD will go up as well and that's pretty much it so still waiting for that move to the upside here hope you liked the video if you did please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on this crypto journey then please subscribe thanks a lot for watching bye bye